ever looked at a piece of art and thought, whoa, I wonder how they made it? What kind of materials were used? How long did it take? There are so many incredible ways of art making in the world and so many wonderful methods and mediums. So for this season of Art Sparks, we chose eight works from our collection. Works that we were curious about or thought were made of interesting materials or in uncommon ways to dig a little deeper into some of these methods. And what's more, then take inspiration from these artworks to DIY our own art pieces. Hi, I'm Kinjal and welcome to Material Matters. I hope you're as excited as I am to look at and make some art today. This is the artwork in focus for this episode. It shows a violet blue figure under a yellow tree. How do you think it is made? What kind of colors do you think are used? Watercolors, acrylics, anything else? It is actually a print made by a really cool technique called screen printing or silk screen printing. In this method, basically you use a special net to transfer ink onto a surface such as canvas or cloth. The trick lies in blocking out areas where you do not want the ink to enter. See how the paint is patchy and uneven in some parts of this work? That is a happy accident that may sometimes happen when working with screen prints. In printmaking as a method, you never really know how the final piece would turn out until it actually does. Isn't that cool? A professional level screen printing station requires a lot of tools and a lot of space. But you can try out a DIY version of it at home. Here's what you need for the project. Embroidery hoops, Mod Podge, you can get this at any craft store or online, acrylic paints, brushes, a blank paper slightly bigger than your hoop, a thin piece of fabric such as muslin or organza, this too has to be slightly bigger than the hoop. Scissors and a gift card or credit card that is out of use. First, take your paper, measure out the space using the hoop and create your design inside the space. It is now hoop time. Stretch your fabric across the hoop and pull it from all sides to make it taut. Place it face down on top of your paper and trace the design. Now, we move to blocking some areas on the fabric. For this, get your Mod Podge, flip the hoop so it faces up and using a brush, apply Mod Podge on all the negative space of the design. This will be the space that we are protecting from paint. Once done, let this dry for one hour. Make sure there are absolutely no holes or gaps in your paint. While that dries, let's go back to our artwork. It is by an artist named Manjeet Bhava who was known for using bright colors and his unique way of reinterpreting Indian myths and legends. He was also a printmaker and this work is probably one from his experiments with screen printing. Now our fabric is dry and it's printing time. On a blank paper, place the hoop face down and add paint across the top like this. Now use the card to scrape the paint in a pull down motion. You can experiment with more paint and pressure to figure out the exact amount of paint required to cover your entire design. Once the entire surface is covered with paint, carefully lift the hoop to check your print. Once you get a hang of it, try using the method on different surfaces. Here's what we made using this method. What will you make? Printmaking is a difficult process 
and has been in use for a very long time. Artists across the world have developed their own styles and signatures, experimenting with it. Check our website to get inspired from our collection and make some more prints. Share what you make with us via a social media handle or email. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get regular updates on other ArtSparks videos. Bye for now. Go make some art.